welcome back. And we are completing and putting together our North Pole pro um, landscape project. So you should have your bear or bears, your background, and your North Pole sign painted. And then your kit, you should have a little cut with three pastels, chalk pastels. And they are all random, so your colors might be different than the ones that I'm using. And that's fine. And we're, we, we're kind of creating the northern lights. If you don't know, it's like a, a phenomenon that happens um, close to the poles, dealing with a magnetic sphere. And you see like beautiful colors like purple, maybe green, blues that like swirl together. And so we're doing with our pastel shock. We're just making little swirls covering our night sky with, maybe with all the colors that we have in our kit. So I have some red, some blue. I have a little bit of yellow. And I do that and maybe towards the edges, I kind of blend it in with just my finger. Not all of it, just like some parts if you want it to be blended in a little bit. You can always blend some of that in. Add some more blue. Add some more blue to it. Or what color you have. Maybe your favorite color from the three. So I have my little night sky with the northern lights. Yeah, it's a little messy. So I guess when you're done, you can just wash your hands. But this stuff comes off your clothes pretty well, so it shouldn't stain. Maybe if you're wearing a white, but it shouldn't stain. Just keep in mind where you where your where your um where your fingers are touching. Like if you're touching your clothes or your sweater when you're working on your project. So I have my sky pretty much done. My northern lights. So now we have our, and then again, I guess you can start cutting out your polar bears. So I have two polar bears I'm going to add to my scene. templates or make your own if you want to make one sitting up setting down laying down and then with our with your glue decide where you want to put your polar bears I have two of them so let me decide where I want to put those Let's see. I put one right here and made there a pair of them just walking in the snow and if you want to you can go back with the white paint and add maybe snow in the background if you want and then you want to put together the North Pole sign. I'll put it right here. And then again, if you want to write North Pole on this, you might have to use a permanent marker or a pen. Let's see, I should have a permanent marker in here. Let's see, I also have a pen. I'll go ahead and just use a pen for this. And put North Pole. And 
kind of put an arrow going like that way. With your glue. glue it down if you want to add more snow you can this will be the time if you want to add a, some more stuff to it you, the only thing you, you should add it before you can like I want to add more snow to the bottom it's more white If you want to add maybe some snow in the background, you can. By just making little dots. What's a big snow? It's a big piece of snow right there, but you can do that. And if you want to do a splatter technique, you can. And just make sure if you do decide to do a splatter technique that you are cautious of where you do it so you'll get paint on any furniture or clothes. And maybe in the future, we'll do a product that does splattering paint, but this one is putting dots which is working just fine. So it looks like falling snow. To, so we can complete our North Pole landscape. Some more white. To my North Pole, my North, um, North Pole sign. So we use pastels, we use mixed media with um, popsicle sticks, we use marker, and we use paint and construction paper to make our project. Just a little bit more snow pieces, that's about it. And now we see we have our North Pole scene with our Northern Lights, our polar bears. And this includes our last project for the year, and I hope to see you guys next year.